what are the first steps? This is a very different question, but it's a very nice one too. What are the um, first steps to understand and fall in love, not with a man, don't worry, with the Quran and Allah? Number one, dua. Allahumma inni as'aluka hubbak, wa hubba kulla man yuhibbuk, wa hubba kulla amali yuqarribuni ila hubbik. Ya Allah, I ask you for your love. That's a dua for Rasulullah s.a.w. Ya Rabbi, I want you to love me. Ya Allah, I want to love you. As'aluka hubbak, I want to love you. And the love of everyone who loves you. And the love of every deed that will get me closer to your love. Who are you asking? Who are you asking? I want to hear it. Who are you asking? And who's Allah? Al Qadir, capable. He looks at you oh, in a second, right now. You want to love me? Okay, done. Can Allah do that? Can Allah do that? Why don't you ask? Number one. You ask Allah to put the love of him in your heart. Like again, you love people, children, husbands, spouse, parents, doesn't matter. You love coffee, you love tea, you love food. The love feeling is natural in us. I want to love her. If you love Allah, you will love his words. And you're not going to look at the Quran as a book. You're not going to look at the Quran, please forgive me, as a burden. You know how we know the Quran is a burden? May Allah forgive me for using this word. When you open the Quran, and the first page of the surah, next thing you do what? How much left? You're not in love. It's a duty. You don't want that. Ask him. And the more you know Allah, the more you love Allah, you love his words. I'll ask you a question. If you're in love with your future husband and he texts you, how many times do you read the text? <laughs> you answer him. You're laughing. And if the test gets deleted, you're going to Google every site how to retrieve. Because you love. So if you really love Allah, you will love his words. Because it's his words. Don't say it's Quran. Say his words. So all goes under. Learn to love Allah. Know who is he and you will love him more. Ask him. When you know him, you can't but fall in love with him. Can't. SubhanAllah, I, uh, when we were flying, I came from California. So the time was ahead of us. La ilaha illallah. I took a picture, but the picture did not do a good service to the reality that I saw. Because we were up on a 40,000, and there was clouds, and then it was sunset. And the sun was red, like this book, literally. But the horizon was not dark yet. Normally when we see it red, we see the horizon is getting darker. No, it was still, because I was looking, should I pray Maghrib or not yet? Because you are on, I have no idea which part of the world we are on top of. And I looked and I said, Subhanallah, the sun half in the cloud and half out, red, and everything else is daylight. And you see all these clouds, and I said, Ya Allah, who are you? This is the beauty. If this is your creation and you didn't look at the creation, who are you? That's what you need to bring the love of Allah in your heart. You need to reflect, see his creation, talk to him, ask him. We're too busy. We are, we are literally stuck at our phones. And I was walking in the, in the airport, you know, you see, thousands of people, everyone is like that.
Ask Allah for his love. Ask Allah to show you who is he. Ask Allah to grab you, literally, literally, grab you from where you are, pull you up to where he wants you to be. <laughs>